Hello, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras. Those guys, and today we're going to talk about installing the September 2016 update for SharePoint Server 2013. Goodness, that's a mouthful. Alright, so the cumulative update was just released last week, so I thought I'd throw a video up here on how to install it and kind of talk about uh, some of the different things along the way. So hopefully it helps you out. Uh, there are videos for all the previous updates, and hopefully there'll be videos for the future updates. So, alright, let's jump in. I'm here on my SharePoint server. Uh, this is the same one that we built in the Installing SharePoint 2013 series. It's linked over there. Yay! Um, and so what we want to do first is we're going to hit Start. And we're going to open up our friend Central Administration. Yes to that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at where we're at uh, with this farm currently and then talk about how to move forward. So I'm going to go here to Check Product and Patch Installation Status. And so here you can see that I've installed Service Pack 1, which got me to this build number, and then I've installed some other updates along the way that have been superseded, and right now my farm's currently at 4849. Um, so what this is, is actually for this farm, I installed Service Pack 1, then I installed the June 2016 CU, the uh, July 2016 CU, and the August 2016 CU, because I made those videos I just talked about. Um, but for you, you do not have to install the CUs, right? CU stands for Cumulative Update. And so you do need Service Pack 1, right? That, that's a requirement to install these CUs. But once you have Service Pack 1, you can pick and choose whatever update you want. And so if you wanted to go straight from Service Pack 1 to September 2016, no problem. Same, same exact steps as you see in this video. Um, now, one of the things that's important to keep in mind with CUs, though, is that they, um, while they're cumulative, they're great that way, but generally speaking, you only want to install a cumulative update if you can say, I have that problem right there and this cumulative update right here fixes it, right? We don't install cumulative updates just because they're out, because they look like it's a lot of fun, right? You get to spend some time watching me I do it, so it must be awesome. Um, and reality, reality, you know, cumulative updates, they, they're Microsoft's way to get quick fixes out there. Um, but they don't really do, uh, you know, a lot of the regression testing. So it's not unusual for this update to fix 12 things and break one, or vice versa. <laughs> the vice versa is when you're really in trouble. But, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you take a look at it, you look around on the internet, you make sure that this update seems good and happy, because also remember with cumulative updates, you cannot uninstall them. So if you put this cumulative update on, no matter how good or bad it goes, you're stuck with it moving forward. Um, so unless you want to, you know, restore from backups, rebuild everything from scratch, which you probably don't want to do with your production farm. So you want to make sure that you test and vet these CUs. Okay, so now that I've scared you to death, if you're still here, let's talk about how to figure out where we're at. So we know that we're built 4849. So the resource that I like to use, I'm going to open another tab. So I go over to www.toddclint.com. Todd's a real stinker, but uh, this particular resource he offers is pretty good. And that here we have a SharePoint 2013 builds. So if we click on that, you're going to see that Todd gives us all of the different builds of SharePoint 2013 since back in the beta days and how to get to those builds. So if we keep scrolling here, I'm almost there, I think, we can see that just today because I was pestering him, he put the uh, September 2016 update out here. And so we can see that 4849, which we just saw was what my farm is currently at, I got that by putting the August CU on. Um, and so now to get to 4859, I'm going to install the September CU. So the first thing you might want to do is you might want to actually take a look at the, the KB article. So we'll click on that. And so if you look at the KB article, it's going to talk to you about things like what are the prerequisites? We talked about that, Service Pack 1. Um, and it's going to say, hey, you know, the updates are cumulative as far as both the all the patches and for all the different languages. So there's just one. Whereas with like SharePoint 2016, we have to do both a language independent file and a language dependent. With 2013, it's just the one file. And then I'll do both server and foundation and project if you have that in the, the mix as well. All right. So then if we scroll down here a little bit further, um, I'm sorry, not projects. Scratch that. I'm thinking of 2016. Not project, but it'll do both the server and the foundation ones. All right, so here are all the different KBs. So if you go and read through these, you can see what are the specific fixes. Uh, so you'll see there's some things around. It looks like there were some issues with Russian that had to get fixed. Uh, there's some security updates here. Lots of little things get uh, patched here. I will also point out that this is an update that has a lot of fixes. Remember, the more things they fix, the more chance there is for bad things to get introduced. So always a little more skeptical when there are the larger CUs like this. 
Okay, so we'll hit back here. And so now what I want to do is I want to hit download. And then if we hit uh, download again, what we want to do is you got to make sure you get all three of these files. I don't know why they even make it optional. I have messed up before. I only got the one. It doesn't work. Plain and simple. And the reason, if you're wondering why they're you know 3.2 gigs broken across three files, it's because in the back end all this stuff is stored in SQL Server, and SQL Server can only handle two gig file sizes. So for whatever reason, they've broken it up into 1.4 chunks. So, all right, we'll hit next. Let's say I got a pop up. So allow once. And so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a save as. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save these in C, install, and I made a folder for the September 2016 CU. Because if you look at my install folder, everything that I install on this farm I keep here. So that way I kind of know if I wanted to build a duplicate server, I just need this install folder, double click my way through everything, and I'll get right back to the same biddedness that I had before. Um, so I made a September 2016 CU, and I've already downloaded the file. That's why it's already showing up here, so you guys didn't have to wait on that to happen. Uh, but you'll want to save all three files into this one folder. So I'll cancel out of that. I'll cancel that. So right here it says save this one. I'll cancel that one and save this one. So I'll cancel. Okay, so that gets all three downloaded, right? If we were to go over here to C, install, and then September 2016 CU, yay, there they are. Okay, so with all three of those here, then what we can do is, um, actually we'll go ahead and close out of our browser windows here. So we'll close this. No, actually we won't. So then what we'll do here is we'll hit back to get back to Todd's blog. And so I want you to scroll back to the top of the screen. And so another great little resource up here is there is a, a link to SharePoint 2013 cumulative updates take five hours to install. And I can tell you this is no joke. Sometimes some of these CUs can get really, really slow. And what happens is they're fighting with some of the internal SharePoint services. They just don't do a good job of negotiating. So they spend all their time negotiating um, and then nothing ever happens and it can take hours. So Russ Maxwell, Microsoft guy, he's, if you click on this link, provides you with a wonderful little script that you can run to install all this stuff. He explains what all the script does and then right here is where you can download it. So this is a great resource. So let's close out of IE, close all the tabs. So right here in my install folder, you'll see I have a Rust Max script. And I just saved that file as a PS1. And so what you need to do is just copy that, and then you just dump it in the September folder. Say paste. All right, so now it's there. So now we want to launch a PowerShell window. So we're going to start, and then the SharePoint 2013 management shell, we're going to right click on that, and we're going to say run as administrator. Yes to that. Technically, you don't have to use the SharePoint management shell, but I like to use that because it's what I'm used to using in a SharePoint context that makes the most sense. And so then now I need to navigate to my folder. So CD down, CD install, and then CD September. I'll do a DIR. All right, so everything's in there. So I'll type in CU installer PS1 and hit go and say, do I want to pause search service application? I'm going to press 1 because I absolutely do. Okay, so now this script's going to start working. It's going to give me little updates along the way. It's going to run a timer to kind of keep track. Um, but there's really no reason for you to sit here and watch uh, this all run. So I'm going to hit pause for you, and then I will just come back when this is done and everything is ready for us to go to the next steps. So see you in a second. Okay, so you can see here that the uh, uh, PowerShell script caused this window to pop up. So we're going to say, yes, I agree to the software terms and say continue. And so then now it's going to go back to, right, it's got to combine the three uh, files together. And then once it combines them together, it's going to go install those bits and all that stuff. So we'll go back to pause, but I just didn't want to skip any steps on you. So um, anyway, I'll see you in a second. And now you get a pop-up window that says, hey, do you want to reboot now or what's going on? And so yes, we need to reboot, but no, we don't want to do it right now. So we're going to say no. And what we're going to do is we let the PowerShell script finish doing all its work. So if you go and read uh, Russ Max's blog, it says, you know, hey, it stopped all these services and, um, you know, set them to disabled. So now it's going to set them all back to enabled and then restart them all. So if you don't, if you just hit reboot and you didn't do this, then when SharePoint came back online, there'd be things that wouldn't fire up at all the way they need to. So you need to let all of this happen.
And so we'll just hit pause when this happens. All right, and so makes a miracle pause. That is also done. Um, you can see that overall it's, the script says it took about 13 minutes for everything to happen and yeah, whatever. Uh, so anyway, that's all good. That's done. So we can close PowerShell. We can close this. And I will reboot this machine. And as soon as I'm done rebooting, I will uh, unpause again. So see you in a second. All right, so I've rebooted now and logged back into the server. So we'll open up Central Admin. So start again. Central Admin. Yes to this. And I just want to show you a couple things real quick before we continue, right? So by installing the EXE without PowerShell or without the PowerShell, either way, we have the uh, biddedness of the farm has been upgraded. So if we go to check product and patch installation status, you'll see that the farm is now at 4859, which we know is a September 2016 CU. But if you go back to upgrade and migration and review database status, what you'll see is that databases and compatibility range and upgrade is recommended. So what it's saying is, yep, your bits are at this new build, but your databases, they haven't been upgraded. You haven't ran through that process, so they don't have all the new features rolled into them specifically maybe, or you know, any of the updates that were database specific. So what we need to do now is we need to run the configuration wizard, and then that's going to roll all of these bits into our uh, environment. Now, you wouldn't want to do that though until you got all the servers in your farm patched. If you have a multi server farm, you need to get all the biddedness, made up a word I think, um, upgraded on all those boxes. And then once you do that, then on one of the servers, you need to run Configuration Wizard to upgrade all the databases. And then you'd run Config Wizard on all the other servers just to kind of get them to a steady state. But the heavy lifting, the touching all your content and upgrading your database would just happen once. Okay, so we'll close Central Admin. We'll hit Start again. And then we'll do the SharePoint 2013 products and configuration wizard. We'll say yes. And then after a minute or so, the uh, configuration wizard pops up and we'll hit next. And then yes, so this is just reminding us that stopping all the services, your farm is offline when this happens. So yes to that. And then it's like, hey, I'm ready to go. Good. So we'll say next. And so then now it's off to the races. So now it's going to go and do the databases. And while this runs, I will also just hit pause. So see you in a second. And just like that, it's finished. It took me yeah, about five minutes. Remember, though, my farm has almost zero data in it because it's a test farm. So this is the step that would really vary based on how much data you had in your farm, how many databases, how fast they were, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, don't take my time, but no uh, that. So I'm going to say finish. And by hitting finish, it's going to open up central administration. And now that central administration is open, what we might do here is go back to upgrade migration, review database status. And you can see that all the databases are no action required, so that's great news. And if we go back to upgrade migration, if you're really bored, you go to uh, check upgrade status because each patch right, is like a mini upgrade. And so there's actually an upgrade log that runs. So you can see it did take just shy of five minutes. Good guess. Um, I had no errors, no warnings, and it has a link to the full verbose log if you really want to see what happened in that process. So. There you go. We've now installed our SharePoint 2013 farm to the uh, September 2016 cumulative update. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you need any help with any of this, um, you can always hit me up at Bold Zebras or on Twitter at Shane's Cows. Uh, remember down in the descriptions, I'll have links to everything so you can find it. And uh, you know, if you like the channel, give me a subscribe. Subscribe and you know, you'll get one of these every month when this comes out. Who doesn't want to spend more time with me? All right. Thanks. Have a great day.